Good morning, welcome back to T3 on today's show we have Western Digital delivering a gut punch to Samsung, or are they? Alrighty, so the gut punch that they are hoping to deliver is coming in the way of their SN750 SSD, which I have right over here. <laughs> Here's the little guy in question. I must say it actually comes with a really nice box. Look and feel, I think when you're buying something that's expensive, matters a lot because it just adds to the pantomime and the experience of buying the product, doesn't it? And this is no exception. Really, really nice packaging, very basic. There's not much in it, just a plastic holder, which I'll, I'll, I'll show you. I mean, well, I got you here, yeah, I might as well do the full thing. I've obviously already unpacked and used it. Uh, once it's going, it's got this tag that I absolutely love because you can shelf it like the old styles. And then we have the packaging there and the SSD, and that would just sit in there. So you'll notice it's in the NVMe M.2 format. Uh, it's so it is a hyper fast uh, SSD, but actually, I don't know if it is that fast. And for the money, I'm not sure if they've quite hit the mark yet. So, if we look at the performance of the drive versus the 850 Evo, the 500 gig, it's obviously a lot better than that because it's not a SATA revision drive, it is an MVME. But if we have a look at it versus our Hikvision E200, it's not that much faster and what was interesting for me was the first set of uh, small write files the hit vision was considerably quicker and then when there are more threads for smaller files this was then considerably quicker now i would say overall for gaming though where that's in question this is probably going to be ahead but it's not ahead so much as i was hoping the Drives themselves are a bit pricey. They do come with a five-year warranty and no real frills on the aft of it. So I don't know if it is going to be able to dethrone the Samsung. We'll just have to see if it's as reliable. I think that is going to be the diff major differentiating factor here, is if it's as reliable as the Samsungs are, then definitely will be a good purchase, you know. Uh, as far as value goes though, it's really difficult to beat Hikvision right now, it would seem. And I just don't think this is the drive to do it, if I'm honest. But it's still pretty good. Like I say, NVMe stuff, incredibly fast. Their quoted speed is 3000 megabits per second, so it gets well over that. The read speed is exactly what I would expect. And it's even as quick as some RAID 0 setups. So it's not, it's not a slouch, don't get me wrong. It's not a slouch by any means. I just think that at the money, the Hikvision that comes with its own cover. We I did use this underneath a, a heatsink that was on our Mag Z3 Z390 board. So it was cooled and when I had just benched it and then removed the heat spreader, it wasn't it was warm to the touch, but it, it didn't exceed 40 degrees. So it's not gonna thermal throttle. It's gonna run really nicely if you do have cooling for it. But if you don't, I'm not actually sure. I, I'm pretty sure it will be fine. Western Digital, as of late, has been pushing up their quality. So there's the look and feel of the product, I can tell you from having it in my hands, it is definitely going to be quality. But will it beat the Hig Vision? Any time will tell. Thank you all so much though for joining us on this quick like a little SSD review. I'm going to be doing a couple more lockdown edition uh, uh, reviews in this format. So I do apologize for the drop in quality and a big shout out actually to Gigabyte South Africa for providing us with an Aorus notebook that is helping us to record all of this during the lockdown. Until we see you next time guys, have a good day, be safe, see you on the flip side.